Are you ready to get curls like this with no heat? You will wake up like this. It'll take you 30 seconds to do your hair and you will look stunning. Let's get into it. I use our new Shop Silk curling set. These are amazing. They obviously cut down on damage of your hair because you're not using heat, but the silk also helps less breakage. It cuts down on frizz and they give the most gorgeous curls. So a set comes with two scrunchies, the claw clip that you're gonna use and the silk curler that you will use to wrap your hair around. So the first thing I'm gonna do is my hair is freshly washed and clean. You're gonna want to have it damp a little bit, not like freshly wet and still somewhat wet, but I will just dampen mine with a spray usually because this is the easiest for me to do every day or every other day, however often I'm gonna do it. So I'm gonna use the Moisture Boost Leave-In Conditioner or you can just use water. I do like to use this though because it makes my hair feel super silky. So I part my hair in the middle to do mine because I like to have that swoop when I'm done. Then I'm going to spray in my mist to dampen my hair just a little bit. Make sure you're spraying the underside as well. I try to get it all pretty even, but I'm also trying to not get it wet. I just want it a little, little tiny bit damp, almost dry. And then I'm gonna brush it to make sure it's evenly spread. I also wanna get rid of any tangles that might be in my hair. Okay, now that I have my hair lightly spritzed with a leave-in conditioner slash water, whatever you wanna use, I'm going to take my curler. I'm gonna place it at the front of my head and I'm gonna use my clip to keep it in place. And now I'm gonna be begin wrapping my hair. So I'm gonna take the first section. This is basically my entire bang and face framing section. I'm gonna wrap it around. And then I'm gonna add more in. I'm adding pretty large sections in. And while you're wrapping, be sure that everything is laying flat. So as you can see, I'm pulling it in and then I'm kind of running my fingers through it to flatten it out, make sure there's no tangles and lay it straight. You don't want there to be any like craziness or crinkles because that will not give you as beautiful of a curl when you take it out. You'll have some weird creasing. I'm just adding more and more in every time I go around, trying to get it flat and smooth. I'm just continuing to add sections in. Adding my very last section in. And now I'm just going to wrap the rest around, continuing to make sure there's no tangles, make sure everything is smooth. I have a little tangle right here, so I'm gonna unwrap that last one smooth it out again. I feel like this is the most important part of doing heatless curls is making sure it's smooth because if not, when you take it out, you're gonna have creasing and it's just not gonna look like a beautiful, perfect ringlet, which is what we're going for. I'm also trying to keep some pretty consistent pressure and like tension on the hair by pulling it so that it's not gonna unravel. And then I do have some layers, so I'm just like smoothing them and tucking them. And then, because my hair is like not crazy long, I actually usually pull this up to hold those ends in place. Then I'm gonna take my silk scrunchie and I'm just gonna put it around. You guys are going to love curling your hair like this. I cannot stop. It is so amazing. Your hair stays gorgeous ringlets for forever. And one of my favorite things is 
they're actually pretty comfortable to sleep in. I am kind of a snob about my sleep and I sleep so well wearing these. Okay, I'm gonna do the other side. Taking, you saw I readjusted my clip. I was just kind of making it so it wasn't pulling quite so much to the left from laying on my hair. So I just readjusted it and made sure it was secure. And then I'm gonna start on this side with the front section of my hair. Wrap it around, keeping it flat, smooth, and then adding in sections. I am mostly adding in from the front. I feel like this has given me the smoothest, prettiest curl. And so that's what I do. It's seriously so easy. Then I'm gonna take my clip out. I'll kind of smooth this area a little bit from where it was clipped. I do really like to pull my bangs upwards. This gives me amazing volume when I wake up the next day because I have these gorgeous ringlets that come around my face. It makes, if you have face for me or like curtain bangs, makes them lay perfectly, it gives you so much volume and your hair looks like you've got a blowout because of the way that you've pulled them back to give you so much extra lift. So this is all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go to sleep, I'm gonna sleep in them, and then I'm gonna wake up and have stunning curls. Okay, I slept in my curler. It's so comfortable to sleep in. I am so particular because I sleep on my side, on my back, on my stomach, all the things, and it stays in place and it's really comfortable. It's never bothered me before when most other curlers have. Anyways, let's take them out and see how this looks. So I'm just gonna pull my little scrunchies out. You have one on each side. Then we're gonna take the roller out. It's the best curls. I have not used heat on my hair in two weeks because I'm obsessed with these. It gives me better curl and it, oh, it's so easy, it's so good. I'm just gonna run my fingers through it. Sometimes at the start it'll be a little bit curlier, but I usually give it like 10 minutes and you will have the prettiest blowout curls with no heat. Also, if you notice, a lot of times, if you've ever used like sponge rollers or other heatless curlers, you have so much more frizz. But with this one, because it's a silk curler, your frizz is way less. It causes way less damage on your hair because it's not pulling on your hair, you're not using heat on your hair, and it gives you the best curl. So I just keep running my fingers through it and just like smoothing it, breaking up those curls, and then I'll show you the next step. Okay, so a little tip. If you want your curls to be looser, you can just put the curler in your hair when it's dry. A lot of times, if I want like a really relaxed, loose curl, I'll just throw it in my hair when it's dry, sleep in it, and I have this really beautiful, voluminous curl. But if I want it to stay all day, like in the heat and the humidity, and I want a little tighter of a curl, I will spray it with a little bit of water and then put my wrap in or have my hair like 90% dry and put it in. But if you do want that looser curl, just throw it in your hair dry and it'll still give you a really beautiful curl that'll last, but it's not gonna be as tight as mine is. Next thing I'm gonna do, my hair is like J3 hair, so I'm just gonna put a little dry shampoo in my roots. Again, Chlorine dry shampoo, world's best dry shampoo, it's so good. I'm just gonna spray it directly to my root. A little goes a long way, and so I'm just gonna let that sit for like two minutes, and we're gonna go to the next product I'm gonna put on my hair. Okay, so my dry shampoo is set for like two minutes and I'm just gonna like massage it into my scalp a tiny bit, make sure any like powder residue is all the way gone. This also helps it make your hair actually feel clean a lot more because it's really getting in those oily spots. So next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my Olaplex bonding oil. It's the best stuff ever, it makes your curls look incredible, it smooths them, it adds shine. I always do this, especially after I add dry shampoo, it just makes your hair look amazing. Also, if you have long hair, 
it will help your ends stay hydrated and make you have less breakage. So I'm just gonna run that all the way through my curls, focusing on the mid to the ends. I'm still blown away every single time I do this to my hair. Like the curls it gives is so gorgeous. I like it better than a curl right now. And it causes no damage. So you're gonna wanna grab one. I'm telling you, it will change your life. It also, it also is so nice to get up and do your hair in 30 seconds. Like it's magic. I'm obsessed with it. I just throw it in at night, it takes like two minutes. And then I wake up with hair that's already done. There's nothing better than like waking up, doing quick makeup and then having your hair done in 30 seconds and it cuts your get ready time in half. So highly recommend we sell them on our shop. We have them in two colors. I'll put a link for them down in our description and we'll throw one up here as well. But that is all I do. I just throw some dry shampoo in my root if my hair's not super clean and then oil in the ends. And my hair looks fabulous in two minutes. Okay, so I will link the heatless curlers that I use. These are amazing. They're silk, so they're gonna cut down on frizz. They are going to have less pull on them than something else, and it's also going to take the best care of your hair. It comes with the roller, two scrunchies, and then a clip, and obviously like a user guide for exactly how to use it and all that good stuff. So I'll put a link to these for our shop. They are amazing. They are the best size. We actually had them make them a little bit bigger for us so that it gives you a better, more voluminous curl that's super full. So we'll put a link to those, go grab one. I hope this tutorial was helpful and show your hair you care and use heatless curlers.